many of my uh, followers, fear to say, are single. So I wanna give you four or five tips, easy tips that you can do right now that I believe will help you in your journey of being single and finding, of course, your bashert, your soulmate. Number one is Tvila. You know, so many people yap to me, and they cry. <laughs> they they uh, they have all these issues and problems. They have all these blockages and, and they don't know who to ask and who to go to. Try prayer. Two things will happen. Number one, at least some, you know, Hashem will listen to you, so you'll feel listened. And number two, you'll feel safe and secure, regardless of what the outcome is and how long it takes. You feel like, okay, you did yours, you did uh, your part. That's number one. Number two, accept yourself. So many people I meet truly hate themselves and they're waiting for somebody to come into their life to make them feel differently, to make them feel loved and accepted and, and excited. And, and yes, that can happen to a certain extent, but it really starts with accepting yourself. If you can't accept yourself, how will you ever accept your wife your, or your husband? <laughs> How? And accepting yourself doesn't mean accepting yourself for the phone that you have and the radio and the, and the action that you do or the job that you... It means really accepting yourself for who you are and for what you have or what you don't have or, or for nothing, just for, for you. So I feel like working on acceptance is a very nice way to accept another person into your life. And number three is a little bit similar to number two, but work on yourself. There's so many... And this goes for parents also. There's so many parents out there. They're so worried for their child. Fathers message me, mothers message me. What should I do, my son, whatever? Well, do you understand that if you're looking for this shit from a wrong place, if you're, if you're not a nice person, if you're, if you're not in a good energy or a good vibration, accepting and loving and, and that kind of personality, then why would you find a shit? Why? Why? Explain. Why would you find a shidduch if you're in a bad energy? And that's, that goes for every single out there. If you're in a bad energy and you don't work on yourself to be a nice human being, why should anything good come to you? Just ask yourself. I mean, I know you deserve and you should accept yourself, but just ask yourself if you deserve it or not. In the same time, if you were, if you were a person that has a nice job, a nice career, um, you have, uh, uh, you take care of yourself, of your body, you take care of your, of the people you love, um, and you do the right thing, automatically you feel like you're in, you're in a place of deserving, and that's the energy that you actually attract. And number four, I would say is, is take action. You know, it's very easy to reach out and message me, oh, I'm trying for a shidduch and whatever. But have you tried calling a shatchan? When was the last time you called a shatchan? Are you calling only one? Or are you calling every week another one? Same thing is with family and friends. Did you ever reach out to them? Ask them maybe they have a shidduch for you? Or are you just going to sit at home in your bed and wait and cry for that, uh, for that uh, ge'illa to come? So keep in mind these things. <laughs> Remember to have Tvila in your life, remember to have acceptance, remember to work on yourself, and remember to take appropriate action. And uh, I believe it can help you a lot. All the best, good luck.